Good, well, it's morning for me. It's probably not morning for you. Um, it is a beautiful morning. I'm headed down the way to a public pond, little county park here in the big city of Knoxville. Um, got about an hour before I have to be at work, so probably only going to fish about a half hour, 45 minutes. We'll see. Um, depends on if I'm actually catching anything or not. The last time I was here, I did not. Caught a couple little bass and a couple little bluegill. I'm um, hoping to do a little better this morning. It is beautiful. It is just, yeah, I, I couldn't ask for a better morning. It's the sun's just coming up. Kids had to be at school early this morning for, um, for band. So, uh, marching band practice. I'm like, well, instead of going home for about 20 minutes and then, um, then headed to work, why not just go fishing for a little bit? And like I said, it is, this is just absolutely gorgeous out here this morning. Um, it's a nice little pond. I, they renovated a few years ago, several years ago, and, um, bass, bluegill, bass, bluegill, catfish. I hear that somebody threw some crappie in it though, so... That'd be kind of cool to catch a crappie. I've never caught a crappie out of this pond, but I don't know. I'm just hoping to catch something. Got a busy long day at work this morning, starting with a meeting first thing right off the bat, um, and then a day full of appointments. So um, I'm going to start with fishing, though. So we'll see if I, if I actually catch anything. I did see something just move right there. Water's a little greener than the last time I was here. Not necessarily a bad thing, just a little greener. You can tell fall is coming. It has been it's been chilly the last few mornings. It's supposed to be about 90 today. We've got a, a hot streak the next few days. More like summer, but last several days have been, yeah, almost chilly in the mornings. One morning it was in, I think it was Saturday maybe, it was in the, whoops. I'm just going to cast behind me there. That's that's fun. Um, it was in the 40s the other morning when I got up. It was, kids were cold. They put on sweatshirts and blankets and we'd had the house open all night, let some fresh, cool air in. And wow, it was beautiful, but kids were less impressed. But yeah, fall is definitely on its way. Next week, I actually have my annual guys fishing trip canoeing camping uh, we're going to yeah spend wednesday through sunday although i'll come home on sunday um so really thursday friday saturday floating and fishing um, i've got a lot of videos of past trips well several videos of past trips you're welcome to check out. Um, we've caught some pretty nice fish over the years. So last year, last year was an adventure. We got on some really good smallmouth a couple times, and uh, some walleye and northern pike. And I got a hook caught in my hand. So I had a video on that. I don't know. It's always some kind of an adventure. You never know on a three-day trip what you're going to get into. Oh my gosh, I cannot cast. Man. A lot of twists in my line. I just put fresh line on this and 
never cease it never seems to matter even when I put line on the right way first time I use it it is just working the twist out of the line and it's not bad line it's good line it's just twisty oh It doesn't help that I'm using such a lightweight lure. But, yeah. oh, looks like it's coming. It's coming. Woohoo! Got the twist out without having to lose any line. Still not a fish, not even a bump. But also, I see, I mean, part of the reality of fishing little public ponds like this, especially in town, is they are very public. They are, they are well used. And I'm glad they're well used. That means people are out fishing instead of doing other stupid things. Um, but definitely means fish are pressured and are seeing a lot of baits and Oh, I have to twist my line again. Hate line twist. It's like the worst. It's a lot of reason I use a swivel. Anyway. Holy cow. I am struggling this morning. Struggling. And I got twisted my line again. Ugh. What was supposed to be a nice relaxing morning is turning into a bit of a frustration. Oh, jeez. Okay. More than a bit of a frustration. A lot of a frustration. Ah, this line is just twisted over everything. I might have to cut this off. It's just not one to untwist. Okay. Whoa, that didn't work. Okay, back fishing. I had to break off part of my line because I couldn't get it untwisted. Not a lot, but I just respooled it, so I got plenty of line on here. But <sighs> this is not the relaxing morning I was hoping for. It's still beautiful, but it'd be made better by a fish or two. I could forget the line issues I've had basically all morning. I just at least get a fish or two, but I don't even remember what I was talking about before. I was so annoyed with this line. Oh, talking about heavy pressure. Yeah, there's just paths beaten down here. There's a bobber in the water. There's, you can tell that there's been a lot of fishing activity here. Nice, that's good. Does make it harder to catch fish sometimes. Oh, oh, geez. 
that I just got crushed by something. Oh, we jumped. Little bass. Yeah. I spoke too soon. There he is. Let me get up here. I mean, he's not big, but wow. Okay. See, I'm already forgetting how frustrating the line was because I had a fish. Little bass. Nothing special. I mean, he's special because I caught him this morning. And that's what I wanted to do. So, <sighs> thank you, Mr. Bass. And a lot of fun on the ultralight. Again, I got the ultralight with a little crappie tube this morning. A lot of fun. Fish like that will really... Yeah. As you saw, really work over an ultralight. They make almost any fish a lot of fun. Oh, landed on a weed. In fact, my biggest bass ever, well, my heaviest bass ever, a little over seven pounds, came in a farm pond on an ultralight in a canoe. That was quite the adventure. I... Yeah, talk about a rod being doubled over and not knowing if you were going to land a fish or not. It was an adventure. But I'd take a seven pound bass right now. I know there's not a seven pound bass in here. There may be some four or five pounders in here. I don't know. There may not be anything quite that big yet. But you never know what gets thrown into a pond like this. Would definitely be cool if there was. Gosh. Wonder why my line wasn't coming in very fast. Look at that. It just. Mm. Oh, I went from frustrated to really happy because of that fish. And now I'm back to more than just frustrated. I'm just quitting. I quit. As beautiful as this morning is, and even with that fish, I feel defeated. I'll be honest. This. This is what most of my morning... Oh, don't drop that. This is what most of my morning has been. A pile of twisted line. And I, I said it before, I know that when I put new line on a reel, I almost always have some issues right off the bat no matter how untwisted it is going on my reel it's just part of it i i hate it but this morning it's supposed to be a peaceful morning of fishing relaxing before a busy day but frankly i'm a little anxious whether it's going to go well or not there's just not enough hours in the day to do some of the things I need to get done today. So I want it to be proactive. 
and just get my morning set straight with the Lord. Talk to him while I'm fishing. And I've spent most of my morning frustrated. I don't like that. It bothers me a lot. I'm anticipating this knot not even holding right now. Let's see. Oh, it did. I know I said I give up, but I'm going to try a couple more casts. I don't want to finish on that other note. Probably going to have to re-spool this reel again. I don't know how much line's left on it. Enough, but I just... I don't know. I'm at a loss. And that was a fish. Must have grabbed my tail with this tube bait. I wish he would have actually hit it. Sun's starting to finally peek up over the trees. I don't have much longer before I have to go back to work anyway. I'm going to ride it out the rest of the way till my alarm goes off. Tell me it's time to head to work. And there goes my alarm. It means it's time to get going. One more cast after this and I'll get going. Yeah. I'm going to have a conversation with the Lord on the way back to my office. Because I don't feel like my... I feel like my head's in a worse place than it was when I started this morning. I was hoping to get out of the little bit of an anxious funk I'm in about what my day looks like today. And that hasn't happened, so I got about a two minute drive to work, about a minute walk up to the vehicle. So a few minutes to have some prayer time and Get my head straight, and it'll be fine. So apparently I did decide to make a video out of this. Frustrating morning, but, you know, that's fishing sometimes. It is. It's. I love to post videos where I'm catching a lot of fish, where it's fun, where it's everything I hoped it would be, or even more. There are a lot of days like that, and you see a lot of videos on the internet like that, but... The reality is, some days it's twists and tangles, and, not, and just no fish. I did catch fish this morning, thankfully, but um, fishing sometimes is more frustrating than fun. And I don't even like saying that out loud because it's so fun so much of the time. But if you're a fisherman, you know you've had days like this where you just... Either couldn't catch anything, your line kept breaking, you lose lures, you are nothing but in the moss, you lose fish. Um, oh, my alarm's going off. Yeah, I know. I'm going to work. I get it. And that's just that's just part of it. So I guess I put this video out just to show you the reality of what fishing is sometimes, because it's not all it's not all a bunch of fish and 
smiles and enjoys. Sometimes it's frustration. And that's what this morning is. So it is what it is. I'm headed to work. God bless you. See you next time.